All right, well, hello and welcome back, everyone, to the final episode of Season 2 of Void Duels. Uh, I'm your whatever sort of host, we don't really have a host for this, but uh, Matt Nellis. Mm. Oh, it's the process. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hang a Scarlet, turn off your phone. I got off. across from me, Jonathan Year, uh, other corner, Tim Noble, next to me, Devin Jones. You guys kind of know all this by now. Uh, I would at least hope. I wouldn't recommend watching the last episode as the first <laughs> one. So, um, so coming in from last week, we got uh, myself in the lead at 37 points. Desmond, you are one point behind me at 36 per second. Copped at my throne. Tim, you kind of jumped in there all of a sudden and are third with 34 points. Yeah. That beautiful and win last, last on time. On your multiple weeks of first <laughs> and second, suddenly went to fourth at uh, 32 points. I'm okay with this. I need to go first. That's true. You do you go first. You also no get protection. First. We can. Uh, that, that's first. a way for you to get it. We all attack you first. You guys all attack me first. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Unfortunately, I'm a taunting Minotaur here, so... So, Tom being in last, uh, we can start off with your deck deck. Tell us what you bring for our final episode, which was loosely considered <laughs> themes. Yeah, bad tribal. So I picked Minotaur, because, you know, Didgeridoo is a card, and that's exactly why I picked Minotaur. Yeah, just because anyway, you had Didgeridoo. There's literally, like, one Minotaur commander, and... Well, it's not one, one, but... <laughs> there's one and one that doesn't really count, because he's... <laughs> Mogus looks like a Minotaur, so I picked Mogus because every Minotaur but like three are black and red. So yeah, we just basically got our support cards. We've got Flurry of Horns in case I want to, you know, sorcery speed summon some tokens. Two people at this table are wearing jeans, so they're going to get denim walked on. And hopefully if I can get the combo off, I can play Minotaurs for free. Okay. Uh, To be fair, we do know that... uh, the Wrangler is an unglued, therefore a legal card, but uh, we felt it fitting to allow him in this game. It's one of like so. the 17 Minotaurs I got to put in my deck, <laughs> so I was doing it regardless. <laughs> Alright. So I went with uh, Tribal Plants, because nothing scarier than uh, a garden. Uh, we're going to start out. Commander is Gave, Guru of Spores. He's a fungus. And, uh, you know, several other fungus, th- Thalids, Spores Out of Thalids, Utopia Micon, and then Felon of Havenwood to give them their uh, bonuses and things like that. Doubling Season for Sapling Fun, Soul Warden for Life Gain Fun. And then, you know, can't have a, a deck tech without the ever elusive Sapling Token. Stabbed with stick face. <laughs> Walk into my garden. Walk into my garden. <laughs> if only someone was playing Zombie Tribal. I am not playing Zombie Tribal. I'm <laughs> not really playing any tribe. I hold no allegiance. I'm playing anti tribe. None of my creatures have the same racial creature type. We got lizards. We got hydras. Dalkin. There's a human in there. It was really hard to pick a single elf. Just one human. Just one human. Just one of everything. And uh, just to make sure the theme is a little more on point, all my non-creature, non-artifact spells also have different color identities. Just to make sure I'm not, you know, posting too much allegiance to one color. Only one mono green spell and such. Only one mono red spell? Yes. Is, that a, yeah. is it lightning bolt? No, it's better than like <laughs> uh, That's pretty much my day. Oh, and then a bunch of mana rocks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you've got a 10-cost commander. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I mentioned at the start of the season that I was going to go tribal destruction at one point. I have slightly changed that once I started putting this together, and uh, instead I've decided to call this deck tribal communism. Uh... Which is a flavor fail, it's not mono red. True. <laughs> However, all but basically every single card in here affects everyone equally, whether it be positive or negative. Uh, 
That being said, there are a few with very minor differences which benefit me, but that's because even in communism, you benefit the state. So, yeah. Do you have stuff like Warp World in there? There is not. No. Uh, I didn't go for the chaos this time, so that's what I did last time. They time. value order. So, yeah. Uh, not this nonsense. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, let's get started. You don't go in there. I guess I was really bad and explained what my deck was, but not any of the cards I had laying out. <laughs> no, I technically did. Stuff that gives mana, stuff that yeah, lets us play cards. It's, uh, everyone draws extra cards, everyone gets free mana on their turn, and blows stuff up. Good. I'm stuff completely okay happens. with this. Well, I mean, you raise the people's hopes, and then you have to you know, keep them in line as well. Yeah. So then I go through and like fumigate them, and I slightly ah. benefit myself by gaining the one Maybe life you shouldn't life. talk about fumigating your people. <laughs> well, I mean, it is communism, so... This deck is being run by the child of water, Desmond. Well, is it the best thing you've ever seen? No. <laughs> Very much not that. <laughs> okay. Well, too fun I guess so we'll keep it. Those. You're keeping? Yeah. You keeping? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Okay. Uh, before we start, I start with Ley Line of Vitality in play. <laughs> this is funny. So I also, before we start, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to start with Ley Line of Anticipation in play. Um, uh, Ley Line? Nope, nope. I also am holding two Chancellors. Uh, <laughs> oh my Dross God. and the Forge. So, first, before we start, uh, everyone lose three life and I'll uh, gain nine. And then I will also start with a 1-1 one, one goblin with haste at the beginning of my first up What did you face? Well, there's first blood. Which means I've already not gotten first. <laughs> Which means, yes, it is impossible for you to get first now. All right, Tim. You're going to ride this one to victory with minotaurs on your back. <laughs> minotaurs in the, in the garden. And the Communist Party supporting you all the way. Well, Matt, are you ready? <laughs> yep, go ahead. Sure. Okay, sorry, I have to read some of my cards. What? I'll go mountain and pass. Look, these Minotaur have weird effects. Oh, I gotta turn my deck around. Oh, I gotta try. No. I'll spill it everywhere. <sighs> Free shuffle? <laughs> It was, it was off. I don't like it being off. Uh, we will do uh, Sandstep Citadel. Let's go. Also, Matt, when you get a chance, you know want to update the life total. Oh, yes. Because you're now 49 wall. Sorry, I had to find a goblin token. Use our wins for teeth and go get to Temple Garden. Tapped. And you pay the life. Yeah. Desmond's now 36. Okay, I will update these and then take my turn. Well, it's eight, yeah. So do you not leave your creatures on the battlefield? The Chancellors? No. They don't, they don't start, start in play. play. Oh, I thought they did. They just reveal at the oh. start. If you also started with like a 7 7 in play, <laughs> a lot of people would play the Chancellors. <laughs> oh, Chancellors so would be in every better. deck. Uh, so upkeep, there's my goblin. That the Chancellor Forge gives me. Um, let's go with the forest and uh, August of the Vineyard. So at the beginning of each player's pre-combat main phase, you get two green mana. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. 
Alright, that turn, man? That'll be turn, Joe. Yeah, you're gonna get first blood? They said That's it has a haste. fair point. <laughs> You, you get first blood. You take the win. You take wait, first away from from so, time. Wait, so does them. it have haste, but it comes in under upkeep? Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Why not just have it? That's yeah. It's, it's, it, 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 uh, it you know what? I'm gonna hit Desmond for one because he's in second. Wow. <laughs> okay, that'll be my turn then. Okay. Hey. All right. My I have to be able to read so it. Don't. Each of us gets two green, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Do you have the snake that gives three green? Yep. Nice. Did I just want to play Mogus? Yeah. Okay, let's just play Mogus. Turn to Mogus. <laughs> Go ahead, Tim. Okay, well, uh, since I get the green, we're going to have a little bit of... Uh, also, you have to sacrifice a creature. And lose oh, life. yeah. Lose two life for sack creature. Well, I can't sack oh, a creature. Fun. You're going to get rid of our free man. You don't have to sacrifice a creature. You have 49 life. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to do... Um, and the token. <laughs> also, Mogus is not a creature. Um, That's probably good. I'm going to go forest. I'm going to tap the forest and the two from you to play Rites of Flourishing. Ooh. Also, what does your ley line do? Uh, like creatures I control play. get plus one plus, or plus zero plus one, and I gain a life when a creature comes into play oh. that I control. Yikes. <laughs> and then uh, for oh, my second mean, land like play will be planes, and I will tap that for... Um, yeah, we'll tap for white. And I will go Imposing Sovereign. Creatures my opponent's control into the battlefield tapped. And I gain a life from that. You want that? Yeah. Alright. Okay. That was a pretty good turn. That was a really good yeah. turn. I like being able to drop two lands a turn, too. That's fun. And draw an extra card. And draw an extra card. That speed things up for sure. Yes, it will. All right. Well, Dark Park Catacombs and. Uh, Did you uh, take two War Sacred Creature there, Chris? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll try to keep reminding everyone. <laughs> I, hey, hey, we're on the team now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get first, so we're on the team now. That's true. I mean, he's so good. I could lose points. It's true. You could attack him and lose points. Oh, he already attacked it. Well, so I coalition rail okay. and I'll play uh, Nick Sweeter and pass. You're going to battery creature. Yeah. I'm going to sack the goblin token. That's going to take two life. Is it really that? Did you draw two? To you? Oh. Where'd you go, Desmond? Don't you start with me. <laughs> uh, planes. Magic. Uh, island. Facing two five color decks. It's true. <laughs> we gotta stick together. In fact, I have the least amount of colors. The, these fiveies over here. <laughs> Fibers. Uh, Fivists. Well, that'll be my turn. <laughs> Filthy so. Fivists. If you're not playing Corona the False God, you're not playing a true five color deck. Well, I'm going to play a swamp and a mountain. <laughs> that all the lands you have. Exactly. <laughs> I have at least one non basic. Uh, I have at least two. You don't need not day six anyways. Let's see. Yeah, six mana. That means I can play two things. <laughs> All right, we'll go uh, black and red and play Phil Hyde Brawler. <sighs> He's a two-two. You can't block unless I control it on a Minotaur. And uh, let me use the two from Matt and a red and a black and play Warmonger. Uh, pay two. Uh, one longer deals one damage to each creature without flying each player, and any player may play this ability. 
Oh, anyone can get rid of our free mana. <laughs> I will. Pay Any, two. Pay two colors mana. And you deal one damage to each creature in each way. Two generic mana. Those, are, those yes. come in tap, but Yeah. And that'll be turned because Mogus is still not a creature. <laughs> weird. Humorous That's we weird. Could almost now right, just make it. Stack so. a creature or lose two? I will lose two because I want to keep my imposing sovereign. Darn man. No, oh, it's alright. It's not a me. And, uh. Murmuring Bosk. No tree folk reveal? No, no tree folk reveal. Oh. I actually don't have another land to drop in, unfortunately. Um. But, I'm going to use the two from you for Sylvan Scrying to go get another land. Oh, nice. even a fancy promo one. Yes. And uh, I will not, play. You're not even the fancy promo <laughs> warmonger, so. Well, that's because this one is actually cheaper than the regular, so. I was like, I guess it's slightly fancier, so. That, well that is weird anyway. for the promo to be cheaper than the regular. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Probably because it's a star. <laughs> it also has two set symbols on it. Yeah, I, what? That's true. It's got the Mercadian Mass and the Leaf. I don't know what set that's from. And the Leaf? <laughs> the Whatever leaf. the hell set that, that is. A, Unless that's just the promo icon. Like, um, that, that, I'm pretty sure that's not a set sign. Like a real one. There's a sword, but it doesn't matter. I don't know what's on there. Alright, uh, we'll tap you got big card for down. two green and <laughs> those, and I will play Spore Sour Thalid, gaining a lot. Spore Sour Thalid. Yep. What does that do? Beginning my upkeep, I put a spore counter on each fungus I control. And then I remove uh, three spore counters from him, and I get a sapperling. And, uh... Jasmine. Take two. Why did everyone hit me? Progenitus. I haven't hit you. Progenitus? <laughs> uh, it's like a ten cost, ten ten. That's basically all it does. It makes you feel any better. I haven't hit you. <laughs> that's that's turn. That's turn. Although I could technically deal damage to you if someone wants to pay two mana for it. <laughs> then we get rid of free mana. mana. Yeah, it's true. All I didn't say I was going to pay for it. <laughs> and You're not going to get rid of Nick's Weaver there? The top two cards my library and my graveyard. What is the land? It's a Sungrass Prairie. Oh, okay. Oh. That's not a good card. <laughs> okay, um what we'll play this Temple of Silence. Describe one. Uh and we'll also play Island. Did you remember to drop to this time, Yes. Yes. Good deal. Stone Curio and Ashnoth Altar. No. Pass. I forget what class I'm Curio doing. When a non artifact permanent comes into play in my control, I can return another permanent that shares a type with it to my hand. Gotcha. I'm going to take the two. You can afford to. Yeah, I mean, you're still a 47. I, mean, I feel like I need to have a slight buffer because I just have this feeling like I'm going to kill me. <laughs> Man, you have like 15 more life. It is, this the point, <laughs> it is the point of the game to kill people. I can't. It's actually 12. Can you not math time? I can't actually see his life. That's in the way. I'm in the way. They're right there. They're right there. Yeah, but. Wait, wait you have to look over. Normally it's oh, no, he is, a, he is at 30. Why is he at 31 on there? He's at 30. Oh. I don't know, because I missed one somewhere. Oh, 
You might have missed the one when he cracked his fetch. Oh, yeah, that would be. Uh... Whoopity, whoopity, whoopity. I'm gonna be honest, I thought man was gonna use the ley line there with all that untapped mana. And then flash some in on desert. That would, have been, that would require me to have four mana, not three. <laughs> Alright, well that'll be my turn, I guess, so go ahead, Dylan. Well, I'm gonna play a mountain and a rogue's passage. Because apparently I will always have land. <laughs> I didn't know there was playing that far. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess, uh, guess I will just, uh, tap four and play a Nabu Shaman. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> a Nabu? A Nabu Shaman. Bear red and tap it to deal one damage to target creature player. And it's two dude. See, see what 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 this is, is tons of time, t time traveler and went back up to the Amonkhet set. <laughs> I wish. Abu Dabu Shaman. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What do we got for? Ooh, can yeah, not. No marsh with swing, no. Yeah, she makes grim lava man's in the cup of God. <laughs> yeah, kind of want to use this warmonger, but I also don't want to kill the maze. You just hold off. Hmm. I feel like I should be swinging. How big is your next thing, Devin? Can't okay. do two, three. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not swinging. <laughs> Go ahead, Tim. <laughs> For the love of all things heinous, I thought I had this the right way. Most heinous. Alright. Well. I'm going to use your two. And then dip, dip, dip. To bring in Gave. Gave comes in five. And then, um, yeah. I'm going to. Uh, this is going to be a little off, but I'm helping you. Okay. I'm going to remove a counter to put a sapperling into play, and then I'm going to sack the sapperling to give that a plus one plus one counter. Oh. <laughs> well, I got you, Tim. I'm I'm I'm, I'm helping <laughs> communism. <laughs> Yay! Also, you can't do life. I do. But I also lost two life, so. Oh, that is true. <laughs> so I stayed. Good old Mogus. Um, if only this was commander damage, you could sneak out. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's untapped. And then I will. Uh, I will int. All right, I will put a charge right. count on for this round. Hmm. Yeah. I like how you brought up the red dice too for communism. Um, okay. I don't even know why I got dice. Like I guess eight. I could have grabbed like uh, I want to keep all red D twenties. Lose two life. Now two cards. Oh yeah. Too short. Mm -hmm. I'm close. And then Mogus can start getting his beats in. Mm -hmm. Forest and Perborg. The two of them My mountains are swamps. And my swamps are also swamps. Correct. And my rogue's passage is also a swamp. Mm. 
Was that what you were waiting on? Was some? Uh, just give me something different I can do now. Okay. Yeah, that is black man. Yeah. I'm sure we are. Oh God. Just don't kill it, and it'll be fine. Also, could be wrong, but okay, yeah, yeah. Just, really just, very good. just make sure you knew that. Yeah. Can I? Hmm. Don't do it, Matt. Don't destroy the warmonger. <laughs> it won't be. A... It'll just be there. It'll just be a blocker for people, an incentive for people to not kill me. Oh wait a second. I think I. I think so I can cast my field. Oh, uh oh, that's not Progenitus. Okay, hold on. Okay, so these these two can be white. These can be black. You're missing green. No, wait. Well, I have two green. Magic. Yeah. Okay, no. Oh, that's the, green. That's so right. This to activate this. And this is blue. And this is black. So there's your your this white. This is a red. Activate Coalition Relic for... Oh, wait, I guess I don't even have to activate it. The charge counter just becomes man. So that can be red. Sweet! So Desmond just kind of wins. Yeah, my... my uh, it's like a three-turn clock for, for one person. It's not like it also has Myriad. Uh... Yeah, like, turn. So you're running uh, red-black. Where's that dread board yet? It's in here, <laughs> somewhere. Oh, I can't target projectors with it. Oh, yeah, prod everything. Only flashback Marauder was it? That's all. If only. <laughs> if only that. Has anyone ever said that before? <laughs> probably <laughs> never again. Probably new one. That'd be a good uh, catchphrase to have. Ah, if only Eternal Witness was a <laughs> was an eye. I don't know. Then my plan would have worked. Why couldn't you be an archer? <laughs> Black. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. What's well, one green floating? Yep. Okay. I can't do anything with so. Why can't you? I'm going to end my turn discarding down the inside. Get the master arm activate one more. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Imposing Sovereign. Boom. One damage to cruel. people and all creatures. How cruel. Take your damage. Oh, yeah. People take damage. Well, I'm going to play a mountain. And a mountain. I actually got hit <laughs> hardest out of that, by the way. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least Progenitus came and tapped. One more turn, and I would have protected her, too. Sorry, man. One more turn. No, take, uh, take your one from Warmonger. Oh. Is it you, too? Yes, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Each creature. Yeah, I, I, I lowered my health by one. Uh, <laughs> should just warmonger all the time, so that way he has to st- constantly turn over and change everybody's life. Mm. We got ten mana. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had ten mana. Don't your creatures have an extra toughness? Oh, that's right! Imposing Sovereign doesn't die. Thank you, sir. I forgot. I always forget that part of uh, Leyline of Vitality. They get a little more swole. Get a little more. A Sovereign. A Sovereign uh, lifts. <laughs> two black and a red. And use match to green. Play War Chanter of Mogus. 
Oh, tell us. Comes in tell us about the war chant. Uh, it has inspired. Oh, when it becomes untapped, target creature I control gains intimidate until the turn. Nice. Thankfully, Tim's helping me out here, but nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mogus, no creature. You're welcome. Tim. <laughs> Mogus, get them beats on. Yeah, I feel like I know who I should need to attack, but I also don't want him to swing back. <laughs> Why is everyone being such a meanie? You just played a 10 10 that we so? can't block and can't destroy it. His commander blows everything up, you know. Except that. It blows it up. Yeah, boy, yeah the board would it. Affect it. But prote- that's, yeah. It had protection, not. Okay. Indestructa hex proof of. Ability. Mm-hmm. All right. Into hex of indestructa hex. I'll of not swing at you if you don't swing at me. Um, hey, 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 hey. In hey. the block of. <laughs> we have to both agree to this. Loud. <laughs> he has to not swing at me either. <laughs> Hexablock I can do my best, too. <laughs> but yeah, Desmond, how about this? Mogus stays back, your progenitus stays back. Fine, I want to eat with progenitus. All right, Stop being a meanie. <laughs> meanie face. Desmond, what if I told you I could help you in other ways? I I believe you? I don't know. Well, if I, I did you? swing, that is. Kinda... But it depends on who you swing at. <laughs> I'm going to play a group of wild speaker. Up. If it comes up, you'll know. And I'm going to plus one him. Oh, did you uh, pay two life for a second creature? Oh, I will pay the two life. Uh, I will plus one him to untap two lands, which are going to be uh, Sansep Citadel and Forest. And then... Um, Oh, other lords destroy, right? Yes. Oh, oh, those yeah. two. <laughs> so those two, four, five. Okay. So I will tap Murmuring Bosk. And using one of those, I will play uh, Thelen of Havenwood, gaining a life. <laughs> and then uh, with my one remaining one I will uh, remove a plus one plus one counter and put a sapling into play gaining a life that's a go okay I'll put a charge counter on the horse route Okay. It's too late. Tons killing me. Not trying. You don't want to sack for generous? Nope. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass on that. Uh, <laughs> Twelfth man of the summon your commander <laughs> twice. Just a sweeper. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, stomping ground. Yeah. Karma guy. And uh, that that next weaver is not helping you out any. It's not doing me any favors. Like I don't, I don't understand why you haven't sacked it already. I mean, it's getting some lands out of the way, if nothing else. I kind of need those lands to play magic, though. I have. He's like, got a lot. That's not like I've. Be. I'll miss but, my extra land drop this turn. That's like the <laughs> first on. one I've missed. Okay. I'm not. I'm not trying. Uh, yeah, River of Tears over the only one who hasn't been hitting lands. Yes. Well, I actually haven't hit lands in a couple of turns either. Um, yeah, but you. Oh. You're good. Well, I uh, guess you don't relate that much. I thought you had There's only one above you. Yeah. And then that guru me out a little bit. Yeah. And then black. with that, I've got, yeah. I get four free mana. Mm-hmm. Black. Um. Okay. Um, one, two. My ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Alright, 
Something doesn't. Mm-hmm. Cast a log that takes the time of El Drowsy Fram. Um, 